Welcome to Mebelkart Vendor Panel Management. The objective of this is to show how the Mebelkart Seller Panel works. This is the first part of the tutorial and by the end you will be able to Number 1. Remember the steps for logging into Seller's Panel. Number 2. Remember the important features of the Seller Panel. And finally, number three, the different options in the panel and their usage. To enter the panel, you first need to type in URL partners.mebelcart.com slash vendor. This is the login page of the seller panel. Let's look at the important element of the login page. This is the area that allows you to access the panel. The username and the password are the fields where you, the seller, type in your registered email ID Welcome to Sellers Panel homepage. The homepage appears once you log in to the panel. This is how the screen looks. To view your orders, click the Orders tab that appears in the top navigation menu. You will see Active, Closed, Cancelled and Returned tabs in the drop down. When you click on Active Orders tab, you will find the orders which you are allowed to act upon. You need to take action on approved orders only as they are verified by Mebelcart and are awaiting your confirmation. Look at the content here you will be able to see the various attributes of an order like the catalog code, product name, MK item code that is mebel card item code, order ID, pickup address, status of the order whether approved or on hold, quantity ordered, total price, whether the order is COD or prepaid, order date, Confirmation days left and the buyer details that is the address, contact number and the email ID. You will even find download ship label tab here. But it will remain disabled till you mark your order ready to ship. We will now show how you can confirm a new order. In order to confirm an order, you first have to click on the checkbox to the left of the order ID. And then click the confirm order tab. The button remains disabled until you select an order. Please note, the same price details should be entered in the buyer's invoice. In case you are unable to supply the product due to unavailability or any other reason, you need to click on Out of Stock tab. In case, if you don't have stock but can procure the order within two business days, you need to click on Can procure the item but out of stock. You even need to contact seller support and inform regarding the same. Now we will discuss about order confirmation SLA. Number 1. For weekday orders, confirm before next day midnight. Number 2. For Saturday or Sunday orders, confirm by Monday midnight. After you confirm an order, you have to mark it ready to ship. Mark an order ready to ship on or before the last date to ship to avoid cancellation click ready to shift click ready to shift after selecting a confirmed order
after you mark an order ready to ship remember you have packed the order with an invoice copy inside you have downloaded printed and filled out the logistic form in case if applicable remember when you mark an order ready to ship the pickup will happen the next day only if you are availing pickup from mebel cart logistic service you have to keep few things in mind for smooth operation number 1 please hand over the consignment to our logistic partner on time to avoid delay in delivery number 2 ensure your orders are packed correctly to avoid any kind of damages to the product and finally number 3 If our logistic partner fails to turn up please contact seller support After you mark an order ready to ship it moves to shipped tab Now click on shipped tab Here you can see the order status as awaiting shipment for that particular order ID Here you can also see the timeline of the order in shipment info you can see the shipment date logistic partner details and the tracking id of the order on the right hand side of the screen here just below the shipment information you will find the link download ship label please click on the link a pdf shipment label document will get downloaded this document will automatically get saved in your download folder on your computer unless you choose to save it in another location this is how a shipping label looks like you have to print the downloaded pdf on a a4 size and then stick the label on the packed order according to the order id now look at the left side of the screen above the new you will find download manifest button click on the button a pdf manifest document will get downloaded this document will automatically get saved in your downloads folder on your computer unless you choose to save it in another location you have to take two printouts of the downloaded pdf on a4 sheets you have to hand over one copy of the manifest to the pickup agent from the logistic partner and get another copy of the same signed by the pickup agent for further reference please note the manifest copy will only be available for the products that will be shipped on that particular day this is how a manifest looks like under shipped you can see a button handed to courier once you hand over the consignment to the logistic partner you have to select the order id and then click on handed to courier button In case you are not using Mebel Cart's logistic service and shipping your orders on your own then you need to enter the tracking details of your shipping service provider in the shipment details in the right side of the screen then you have to click on hand it to courier The same process has to be followed having the manifest copy downloaded and signed by the shipping agent's pickup team. Remember, if you are delivering the order personally through any office staff of yours, then you have to contact seller support and we will update it as personal delivery done. Once you mark the order handed to courier, the status automatically changes. from awaiting shipment to shipped please note when you click on shipped orders tab 
you can see the various stages that an order undergoes. That is number one awaiting shipment, number two shipped and finally number three delivered. Once an order is delivered by the logistic partner and is updated in their system as delivered, Mebelgas system will automatically update the product as delivered. Click on delivered orders tab. Here you can see the order which is delivered with the delivery date. The delivery date is updated here. Our next topic is payments. Click on payment spending tab. You can see the order for which payment is pending. Look at the screen. Here you can see the total payment summary. Here you can even view here you can even view the entire details related to the payment due against each order ID like charged to customer, transfer price, collected by you, collected by mobile card, advance paid, settlement date, transaction mode and amount transferred. Once payment of an order has been made and updated in the system, it moves to closed order tab. Now click on closed order tab. Here, you can see all the order IDs whose payments have been completed from Mebelcart's end. This is updated by our vendor care team as closed when the payments has been settled between Mebelcart and the vendor. The closed screen will have details of settlement date, bank reference, transfer price which can be easily tracked by you. Please note, your payment cycle is of 15 days from the date of delivery. Now click on the returned tab. Here, you can see the orders for which return is initiated or has already been returned to you. You can also see the committed timeline to the customer. Look at the center of the screen. Here, you can see a red highlighted message button. Click on the button. You can see the reason for return for that particular order ID. Once a return is created by the buyer, the vendor care team will contact you for the confirmation from your end and once you have confirmed, the order will be redirected to the new tab which you need to process and mark it ready to ship. Our next topic is on cancellation. Look at the right side of the screen. You can see cancelled order tab. Here. You can see the orders which were cancelled by you or by buyer or mobile cart. We would like to caution you against cancellations and here is the list of consequences. You have to pay cancellation and return charges. If you have marked out of stock after receiving the order or after confirming the order, therefore you have to update your stock time to time. If you send wrong or damaged products. If the order gets cancelled due to parts missing. Your seller rating will get affected. Cancelling a confirmed order is likely to impact your seller performance in www.mebelcard.com more severely. Our next topic is Catalog tab. To update your stock, click on the Catalog tab that appears in the top navigation menu. You can see Update Stock in the drop down. Once you click on that, this window appears. Now look at the screen. Here you can see the details of the product listed by you. The product ID, name, code, product quantity and combinations. 
you need to enter the stock count of the available in inventory for all the items in the product quantity that are live in your website. So if I enter 200, I click on the tick. So the product quantity that are live in the website such that the orders can be better managed by a vendor management team. Our team will also send out regular emails to remind you of the same. In case you forget your password, don't worry. Simply click the forget password link, that is the recover here. A pop-up will appear on your computer screen. This pop-up contains a box where you need to enter your registered email address. Once you have entered your email address, click on reset password button. A pa reset password link will be sent to your registered email address. To see this link, go to your email inbox. You will have a mail that says Mabel Car account password recovery. Open this email. You will see your new system generated password. Such that you can copy this password from here. Then go to the dashboard. And enter your password. Click on login. It logs in to your account. Later on, you can change your password as well. In case you still have any issues, email us at ss at mabelcard.com or call us at 8067978888 from 10.30 am to 8 pm. And please mention your email address or display name in all your communications. Thank you.